Marilyn Parker joins us live from San Jose tonight. Marilyn, you spoke with crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson about this. What did he have to say about this series of burglaries or robberies? Jefferson says when there is typically one robbery, you can expect another. So when JSO sets up surveillance, it can be done often. And he also says apartment complexes can be an advantage for these criminals. There are a few apartment complexes down Old Kings Road South in San Jose. And according to JSO, this area has been hit with a series of armed robberies. Most recently, Sunday morning, when a JSO detective shot an armed robbery suspect, later identified as 37-year-old Daniel Neal. Police tell us they were doing surveillance of a nearby apartment when a robbery call came in over the radio. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says robberies often happen in chains and police must be ready. They have to be proactive in trying to catch robberies, robbery suspects, simply because you never know when they're going to hit, so you just lie and wait for them. Police say the suspect was running across the street from another complex when he passed a JSO vehicle. The officer started chasing the suspect and were told the detective yelled police and stop repeatedly. Police say Neil had a firearm and before he could enter into another apartment, the detective shot him twice. He was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. Investigators say the weapon Neil had was stolen from a car in 2020. The JSO crime map shows 11 robberies reported in the last three months within a one mile radius from the apartments. Jefferson says people living in apartments need to be proactive and aware of their surroundings because these complexes can be a place of opportunity for criminals. People typically are paying close attention to their surroundings when they're going into an apartment. Um, whether it be upstairs or downstairs, and that's when they take advantage of that vulnerability. He also recommends using the crime map to check for trends in the area and talk with your neighbors as well as apartment managers. And I tried speaking with a few people and some nearby businesses. They tell me they haven't heard of a series of robberies in this area, but again, they're happy to see that JSO is out here doing surveillance. And we actually saw a few units from JSO out here earlier tonight, just driving through this area. We want to remind you the detective who is JG Bennett, uh, he was not injured in this shooting and is on administrative leave, which is standard procedure. We're told he was wearing a body camera and that this is his first officer involved shooting. We're live in San Jose, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Marilyn.